Welcome to AppGeeker's channel and we are here. If you get iPhone is disabled, connect to iTunes error on your iPhone and can't unlock it. We will show you how. Your iPhone will become disabled if the passcode is guessed incorrectly in a row more than 5 times. After more than 10 times wrong passcode entries, iPhone will be completely disabled and ask you to connect to iTunes. Here we will show you how to connect to iTunes when iPhone is disabled and two other ways to unlock disabled phone. Before getting started, know that when iPhone is disabled and says connect to iTunes, the only way to fix and unlock the device is to factory reset it. All your data will be gone forever unless you get a backup in iCloud or iTunes. Got it? Ok, first open iTunes. If you are using a Mac with latest Mac OS version, wrong finder. Then turn off your iPhone. In iPhone 8 or later models, connect it to computer and hold the side button. In iPhone 7, hold the volume down button after connecting it to the computer. In iPhone 6S or earlier models, get the phone connected to iTunes or Finder while holding the home button. When you see the recovery mode screen, release the button. It should be a cable pointing to a computer or iTunes icon. Next, go to iTunes or Finder. Locate your device and click it. A dialog box will pop up asking if you like to update or restore it. As doing an update won't fix the iPhone is disabled connect to iTunes message, you will need to choose Restore option. Here, press the Restore and Update button. Then, iTunes or Finder will download a latest iOS software package to restore your disabled iPhone to its factory defaults, which may take around 15 minutes. Now, the iPhone screen turns black then shows app logo with progress bar. This means that it's erasing everything in your iPhone, after which it will install the downloading iOS software into it to bypass the connect to iTunes screen. When all is done, your device will restart and boot up to welcome screen. Just walk through the setup assistant to set it up. When you arrive at the apps and data screen, it will remind you that you can restore the backup data from iCloud or computer. If you don't have a backup, just select like Don't Transfer Apps and Data. Now, your device will open without the connect to iTunes message. We know some of you don't get on well with iTunes. It's okay as you can use iPhone Unlocker to restore your phone when it's disabled. This tool devotes itself to unlocking any iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch when the lock screen password is forgotten or is completely disabled without much input from users. Now go to appgeeker.com. Under the products menu, hit iPhone Unlocker. Then download to and we will then show you how to fix iPhone is disabled connect to iTunes. Now launch the tool. Click white passcode. Press the start button. Next, connect your phone to the computer. If the tool can't detect it, click device connected but not recognized and follow the steps to enter recovery mode. Once connected, select iPhone in device category menu and choose the device type. The device model will automatically match. Click start button. Now the software is downloading the firmware package. Once down, enter 0000 in the field and press unlock button. It will then get your iPhone out of the disabled mode and unlock it. Then your iPhone will be unlocked. You can also unlock your iPhone when it says connect to iTunes without computer by using Find My iPhone in iCloud. Go to iCloud.com in any browser and sign in with your Apple ID and password. Once logged in, click Find iPhone. Choose the device that is disabled and says connect to iTunes. Choose erase iPhone. Tap continue and enter the password again. Then it will erase all the content in your device to unlock it. That's all for what to do to fix an iPhone when it says iPhone is disabled connect to iTunes after inputting the wrong passcode multiple times. Please give this video a like if it works and comment below to let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to Giga's channel to get more tips.